to my channel so I've been getting crazy amounts of requests for the makeup that I was wearing in my second updated brow tutorial so if you would like to see how I did the makeup look in my updated brow tutorial which is this then stay tuned okay so I'm gonna start off with my brows already done just to save some time um, I did apply some moisturizer onto my face my eyelids are kind of dry I don't understand why um, <laughs> I'm gonna be priming my eyelids first with a neutral eye primer and this is laying low paint pot um, by MAC and I'm just gonna be neutralizing my eyelid next I'm gonna be going in with a matte coral blush and I love using matte blushes as a crease color um, or as an eyeshadow I just feel like it's multi-purpose you could build on it and especially if you have a really nice matte eyeshadow sorry matte blush then use it as an eyeshadow I'm just gonna be diffusing this right on my crease area and just making sure everything is blended out smoothly Next, I'm going to be going in with this burnt brownie taupey color. It's, I do believe it is discontinued. It's uninterrupted by MAC, but if you do have a color that's out there, I know Makeup Geek does have a really similar color to this. You need to get your hands on one because this color is just absolutely perfect. Next, I'm going to be taking a purple blush. <laughs> There's a blush theme going on. And I'm just going to be dragging this right in between the coral color and the uninterrupted lid brown lid color and just diffusing the colors together creating like a sunset on my eyelid <laughs> so now I'm going in with the foundation and I'm using Estee Lauder's double wear foundation and I'm going to be applying it first with a brush and then I'm going to be blending it out with a beauty blender I do this because I feel as if the Beauty Blender sometimes soaks up the product, especially if it's a very liquidy product. So if you'd like to stop that from happening, you can go in with a brush and then blend it out with a Beauty Blender. Now I'm wiping out the foundation off of my crusty lips because I hate when people just leave it on there. <laughs> I'm going in with uh, the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach. And this is very creamy, very, very successful in <laughs> fighting my under eye circles I don't know how to explain it it's just a really good product um, if you feel like you need to counteract any darkness under your eyes this is a very creamy very perfect color to use and consistency Next, I am going to be going in with my Anastasia cream contour kit and this is in the medium I have to say I don't love it as much as I love my Milani cream to powder foundation that I use in most of my videos but I'm trying to trying to like you know switch it up a bit just in case you have this palette and you want to know how to use it or want to see variety on my page <laughs> but it is it is good it's I right. like you know I'm not crazy about it And I'm just using the butt of my beauty blender to kind of push that into my skin and making sh and, and to make sure that it's properly blended. Next, I'm going in with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. And this concealer is just so flawless on the skin. I absolutely love it. It just feel like it's just the perfect consistency. It looks great on my skin. I, I'm, I don't love it as much as I love my NC42 Studio Finish, but you know, I'm trying to switch it up a bit. And in my brow video, this is what I used. It's, it's a very good product. I feel like if the color was a bit more orangey to counteract my darkness, I'd love it. But, you know, it's still a very good product. If you don't have it, you should. Next, I'm setting my under eyes with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. And this is just to prevent some creasing from going on under my eyes because I hate when that happens. Ugh. 
Now I'm going to be going in with my eyelids and, sorry, with my eyeliner and this eyeliner is Sephora's eye pencil and it's waterproof, it's very creamy, I like it a lot. I'm going to be dragging this along my lash line as close as I can get to my lash line. If you don't make such a straight line, it's totally okay because we're going to be blending it out so not to worry as long as you evenly distribute the product as close as you can to your lash line. Next, I'm going to be taking my smudge brush and just smudging that out, diffusing it, you know, into my eyeshadow and just making sure that it looks very blended, nothing harsh. Next, I'm going to be dusting off any excess powder I have under my eyes. And I'm going in with that same brown color that I use on my lid and just dragging that under your eye. Ah, don't poke yourself in the eye. And just, yeah, just doing that. Next, I'm going to be contouring my nose. And if you'd like a detailed video on how I do that, just leave a comment down below in the comment section. And then I'm going to be applying some L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara. Okay, so this is like probably the number one question I've been asked on my previous video. Now, the lashes I've used are Magic Gold's number 43 lashes, and I don't have the case for it because I actually have them stacked up in my kit that I use on my clients. So when I film a video, I just grab a pair of lashes out of there, but I will leave the name and the number and the style down below in the description box. So yeah, these are super affordable. They're only like $4 and they're from the beauty store and I just love the way they look. And instead of covering the lash glue with some black eyeliner, I'm gonna go over it with some brown eyeshadow just to cover the sheen and to make it look more natural. Again, I'm avoiding using eyeliner just so I don't get that harsh effect. Just to keep things soft and pretty. And then I'm going to be going with that same blush I used on my crease and putting it on. Well, putting quite a bit on my cheeks because I did have quite a bit of blush in that video. Next, I'm going in with my favorite lip liner. This lip liner is my absolute favorite. Oh, it's so frustrating how much I love this lip liner. Anyways, it's stripped down by MAC. If you don't have it, and you're like a medium complexion or a light complexion, i definitely try it out. If you're a little darker, it probably won't show up as deep on your lips because it is a very nudey nude brown nude. <laughs> so yes, this color is absolutely perfect. I fill in my entire lip with this lip liner and then I go in with ColourPop's liquid lipstick in Trap and I just apply that on the center of my lips and then blend that out with my finger. Yes, don't <laughs> be careful when you apply mascara. After all these years of doing makeup, I still manage to rub it all over my under eye area. And then I'm going in with Becca's Opal Highlighter and just highlighting the heck out of my cheeks. And I absolutely love this hijab. This is one of my favorite hijabs. It's from Voile Chic. I was about to sneeze, but it went away. And yes, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please link them down in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. See you next week.